doing team nokia power user here and in this video we will uh, show you or we will tell you how to control the uh, you know background activities background tasks the apps those run in background and in a way that will help in improving the performance and saving the battery life so your battery will last longer if you can control that so for that what you need to do is to go to settings battery or you can directly uh, go from here just uh, scroll down and uh, on the battery saver icon press and hold it directly takes you to the battery now here you can see few things which you can actually do so you can notice you can try to read this what is mentioned so apps are running normally so if, it, there, if there is any any issue or uh, if some app or game is consuming much battery it will be shown here now battery saver is another very cool feature so you know you can just set at what percentage it gets turned on automatically or can turn it on anytime now there is a new feature which is adaptive battery which has come with android pi so how to use it we'll talk about it because uh, adaptive battery you can actually switch it on and switch it off so it's like a feature which system itself uses so uh, what we have shown here apps are running normally so this this is related to adaptive battery so here the system is handling your uh, battery uses and apps in the background and it shows everything correctly now if you want to do it something manually you can go to this restricted app list so in restricted app list whatever you toggle on on whatever app it will get restricted and would not be able to run in the background and i'll tell you that you would not really want many apps to run in the background because if there are too many processes they boggle down they consume memory they consume power and uh, you know more like they consume cpu and they consume memory and they you know just bog down your device so why to do that you know so it's better to use only like i will go and just uh, toggle off whatever i think is not needed to run in the background so most of the apps you don't want in the background so whatsapp twitter it can be like onedrive so these things you want to run in the background but others you can just go and just do it so it is very handy very easy but very useful it improves both performance and battery life of your device so my device 6.1 plus is on pi but still you can see that it is giving me good battery life so many have seen like many people complaining about it so you can try this if it's not useful and you see that it has not worked for you you can try a soft reset you know soft reset is just a restart and try that or you can do hard reset for hard reset you can check out the tutorial where we have shown it so this is uh, how you handle uh, you know i mean how can improve battery life and performance on pi android pi now there is one more thing that i wanted to tell you so which is very important i think so if you talk about apps and notifications so notifications are something which also consume lots of you know power so if there is like a, a app for which you don't want to see notification it's always recommended to switch the notification off it helps a lot actually frankly telling you so you can do that as well and it will improve your battery life uh, on your uh, android pi as well so these are like small tips and tricks of android pi which helps you in uh, improving the battery life there is a big tutorial that we have where you will get even more tips and tricks but this is what had changed with android pi so wanted to show it to you so hope you have liked this video stay tuned for more thanks for watching